Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to proceed when you get stuck. So um, I teach a lot about this idea of flow, of being in the flow, the flow state. And um, this stems from, we go from law of attraction, which teaches us that we are supposed to manifest what we want. And that's kind of an old system of thought. In fact, um, we don't attract anything to us. We allow ourselves to be attracted to what the universe has in store for us. So this is a different way of thinking about things. Law of attraction, I will manifest. Law of flow says, I will, I don't manifest anything. Everything's already created. Everything already exists. I allow the universe to pull me toward what I'm being attracted to. I allow myself to be attracted to, and I allow myself to be attracted to by learning how to spot and stay in a flow state. So what happens when, so we're working on, we want to be in flow. We want to be guided by the universe. And what happens when we can't figure out where flow is, or we feel like we've been stuck so long, like we're just in this nothing's happening place. Um, and you know, when you're stuck, you know, you don't feel good. You feel this kind of hopelessness. You feel like nothing's going to get better. Nothing's ever going to change nothing's happening. You just feel all of that. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I sometimes think of maybe a lot of you guys won't remember, but some of you will. Um, in Winnie the Pooh, when Winnie the Pooh has to go through a hole and he's eaten so much honey that he's, he can get his head in, but then his body gets stuck because he's eaten too much honey. And so there he is with his head on one side of the wall, and his feet on the other, stuck in the middle. That's what being stuck is. We just have to wait until this time when we can move back and forth between passages. But at the moment, we're stuck. Another great way to look at it is, um, I often use the meditation where we're on a river, as we're on the, uh, the river of flow. And this allows us to see how we're doing on our flowingness. And sometimes we'll get these visions where we're on the river in our, in our third eye view, we're on the river and everything is going great and the river is calm and beautiful and we're flowing along. And then suddenly we'll come to a sandbar or we'll come to um, some pebbles that we can't, you know, it's too shallow or we'll come to a patch of mud and we'll just sit there for a while until the flow picks up and we can find it again. So if you have come to this because you yourself are feeling stuck, um, don't worry about this. We are continually in this wave of um, creating, uh, building and relaxing, building and relaxing. And so a lot of the times, if you're feeling stuck, it's because you've just had a very big session of building, creating movement, and now you're in the rest phase. So we build and then we rest, we build and then we rest. And this is similar in flow to the way a wave, those of you guys are surfers or been out in the water a lot, you know, like the wave builds and then it kind of recedes back. You're, and when you're in this place here in the receding, you can't do anything. You're just sort of being pulled back. The wave builds and then it recedes back. So this stuck phase of our lives is natural. It's, it's useful because it gives us the rest time to think about what we're doing and um, reassess you know, what, what we've learned, what we're going toward. Um, so some of the things that you wanna do when you're working on how to get unstuck is uh, you want to be able to quickly spot when you're stuck, when you've been resting for more, more time than you, you know, thought you were going to be resting or it doesn't feel comfortable. 
And then you want to be able to quickly identify when you're in this place, this resting place, which I, I call the gap. It's when flow has not, flow is, flow flowed, you went with it, and now nothing's happening. And when you find yourself in this place of rest or place of nothing or place of stuckness, if you consider it as a temporary spot, if you consider it as a gap in the flow rather than a permanent stuckness, you will be able to relax and to utilize this time in a useful way as opposed to fretting and stewing and wondering why nothing's happening. So you'll be able to quickly identify when you're in this gap. You can also learn how to easily see the state of flow you're moving forward to. And when you understand how law of flow works and how to get unstuck, you'll no longer be paralyzed by fear of change. You're gonna expect there's gonna be flow and then there's gonna be the gap. This is how it works. So you don't have to be afraid of this gap. You aren't gonna be afraid to move forward. Same thing, you're gonna expect, oh, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna create, and then there's gonna be this pause. It's okay. Um, you will not find the gap state chaotic or distressing. When I'm in the gap state, I'm like, oh, yes, I can relax, I can chill out, Maybe I'm not working so hard. Maybe I can do some reading or some sleeping or some fun things. I'm not just create, create, create. Resting, the pause, it's great. Um, you won't, you will sort of dis detach from the idea, the grasping states of fear and pain. Nothing's happening. I'm a loser. I can't do anything. What if nothing ever happens? What if I'm always here? No, you just like, no, I'm just in a, a place. It's okay. This will, this will change just as everything changes. Um, and then the other things you're going to do is, this is the main thing. You will learn how to get into flow faster. It's almost like the waves are continual. The building, the receding, the building, the receding. And once you know that, like you're like a surfer, you're getting ready for the next wave. And, and you're getting, you're more and more able to see where the energy of the universe is taking you. You're more and more able to feel, what does it feel like when the universe is attracting me to something? What does that energy feel like? And I tend to feel pretty excited and know that something's happening and something's coming. And then I start to sort of like, where, where is it? And I start to look for where the energy is going and where the flow is going. It's a fascinating subject. I'm gonna be teaching about it a lot more. Uh, for this particular video, I wanted to explain this part. It goes with the project I have called, um, I think it's called the, the Stuckness Project or the Unstuckness Project <laughs> or, or the Flow Project or something like that. But it's a course and you'll find it on my um, on my page, sarahweisman.com. Thanks for listening and more to come.